scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I'll be sharing a few things tonight and then we'll pray. I thought we'll make tonight a prayer meeting but then um, I just have to share a few things. But then... Let's see how God will grant us grace. And then we'll be able to commit some time to pray tonight. Hallelujah. Just turn to your neighbor and tell them God bless you. Mike said something that was very striking while the worship team were ministering. And he said, Koinonia teaches you that you can get many things. But then he said, the highest, paraphrasing the greatest, is God. There are many things that are available in the kingdom. Prosperity is available. Influence is available. All of these great attributes are available. But the highest pursuit, the highest, the apex of your pursuit must be God himself. Hallelujah. When you get to a point where... You seek any other thing above God. I don't care what it is. It has become an idol at that exact point. Are we together? So we must be careful and we must guide our pursuits. So that at no time are we found consciously or subconsciously pursuing anything that is above God. Every other thing becomes relevant only when the position of God is healthy and secured in your life. When the position of God in your life is threatened by anything, regardless of how legitimate it is, then you're already walking in a danger zone. You must make sure the position of God, please pay attention, is secured beyond disturbance secured beyond disturbance that nothing in life has the capacity to disturb his place in your life you only become a winner when that is in place regardless of what you seek regardless of what you want believe me brothers and sisters it is totally mundane if it makes god secondary i don't care what it is if at any point any other thing you seek has the capacity to push God and you are not afraid of it pushing God. You are already losing something. God's position must be secured beyond and above contention. Hallelujah. It says, and this is eternal life, to know you, the one true God. This is eternal life, not to have money. Money is important. This is eternal life, not to have anointing. Anointing is important. Right? It's very important to know him. To know him. To know him. Hear what Paul said. That I may know him. It didn't say that we may know him. That I may know him. That's my cry. That's my passion. That I may know him. When a believer loses fire for the pursuit of God, it is the clearest sign that your life is under attack. You don't need to find out whether you are sick or not. The moment you find out that your passion for God 
is dying you don't need any other sign your life at that point is under serious attack and calls for emergency pray this prayer before we continue tonight and say lord be seated at the throne of my heart let it be a position if anything has threatened your position there i i use my will and i secure your position as lord as lord not occupant as lord not tenant as lord as lord don't be seated in the throne of my heart as a co-occupant as a co-tenant with something else let your position be secured beyond intimidation Are you praying it's a very powerful prayer very very powerful prayer lord dismiss the things that threaten your position in my heart they are not worthy of my life if they must threaten you to bless me then they are from the devil if they must threaten your place in my life to bless me then they are of the devil any desire in my heart that cannot submit to you i throw it out i throw it out hallelujah praise the lord this is a very powerful prayer this is the reason why people worry let me tell you something about worry um come promise or anybody come do you know i'm talking about a number of things today but i just i just felt to start out with this if this guy is dying of stress worry because that's what is happening to some of us that's what is happening to our families people move around frowning their faces no joy no peace no fervor you ask them why and they will tell you look life you know how life is and they think it is an excuse are we together now listen let me teach you something very powerful hold on Mike do you know why people worry the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership the only reason why people worry is because they are obsessed about control and ownership they have an understanding that until they own a thing and they feel the security of that thing around their life their life is not guaranteed so they worry are we together now yeah they worry if i transfer one million naira to your account now and all of a sudden you start dancing watch this you are dancing because your phone showed you a figure are we together now watch this five minutes before that alert god already told you i will bless you but you are still saying oh god I, I know while god was speaking you know that money was still available but because it was not within your possession you are disturbed about it let me tell you something when you learn to hand over your life to god are we together worry will die a natural death which of you by worrying the bible says can add one cubit to his head you see someone of 20 years looking 45 you ask him why i say why won't i worry won't i eat now does the worry bring food one thing i know that does not add anything to your life anything at all to your life is worry it causes stress causes pain makes you to get angry you can just see someone looking blessed and happy and say so why is he smiling just because you are worried are we together say i refuse to worry prophesy to yourself i refuse to worry who knows probably this is already a word for someone you are killing yourself with too much stress people are sleeping in the night and the bible says he gives his beloved sleep you have refused to receive it you wake up and sit down and you are just thinking my life is this how it will be 
See, those kind of thinking are not scriptural. There's nowhere in the Bible that is recommended that people should wake up in the night to worry. You wake up to pray, you wake up to study, you wake up to dance and rejoice before God. The Bible says this. It says, um, rejoice in the Lord always and again, in case you've forgotten, I say rejoice. Are we together? Turn and speak to your neighbor and say, worrying will not solve it. Tell them, try rejoicing. try rejoicing. One more time, say, worrying will not solve it. Will it. it doesn't matter what the problem is. Worrying will not solve it. So, try, yes, you try joy. Joy is not laughing like a clown. Joy is a settled, a settled um, confidence, a sense of merriment that comes from understanding that the person you submitted to is responsible very responsible are we together you don't take the part that is your own and the part that is god's own and join and kill yourself his load is not your load he gave you the your own part of the deal according to your size don't ever wonder how things will happen the bible says the same way you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child. So you do not know the way of the Lord. In other words, you don't know how God will make it happen. It's never your business. Your business is to know that God said it. I believe it. I will. No, 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 no. That doesn't settle it. That doesn't settle it. I believe it. I act because I believe it. By acting, I commit his integrity. Then it settles it. See, you don't say I believe it and it settled it. How many people have had their lives unsettled because of the... Of course, I understand that those who say it, say it from a very fair point. Believing does not settle it at all. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. Where? Not in your life. It takes faith to be settled in your life. Hallelujah. So don't wait until you see things before you are confident right now as you're seated here god is already speaking to someone to bless you but if i say it you won't believe it until you see an alert if i say god is touching you now you won't believe it but when somebody shouts and scatters the chair you say wow something is happening here it looks like it is powerful but it's carnality you must rise to a level where you are governed by your confidence in god's word you understand manifestations are wonderful but if i tell you god is going to bless you and you, okay where is it the Bible says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -mm, not just life. Life and what? That's why people worry. It's no peace. No peace in their lives. I will never, never worry about anything. I think, I plan, I take responsibility, but not to worry. Worry does not solve anything. Worry is a sign of unbelief. In fact, truthfully speaking, worry is sin. Are we together? Yeah. What is sin? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying you should. Uh, are we together? Because this one, you are not missing the mark. This one, you are disbelieving God. God said it and you say, God, I don't know what you are talking about, but make it happen now. And God says, me? You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone And right now To the good times and bad You are on your throne You are God alone Hallelujah. Listen I, I, Let me just say this before we go to the discussion of tonight Many people Listen, many people's confidence Are tied to to their perception of your joy you, you you cannot walk around as though i'm not making it or i'm just laughing but i'm not making do you know if i come here frowning and i say we're in trouble do you know how many people will be discouraged just by this look you say ah we're really in trouble oh no imagine that i come here i'm just frowning i whisper something to pastor jakes and Ejimi, and then the protocol go outside we come back you will just get up and carry your bible and say something is happening see one of the principles of leadership is that people reflect who you are. You have to know this. Are we together? Yes. People reflect who you are. 
you are an angry person always frowning as if the whole world is on your head very soon you start reproducing yourself you are going to see a group of very wild and angry people no Jesus is alive and he's in control hallelujah the Bible says righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost will characterize the presence of the kingdom. Please avoid worry. I just added your life. I added your age by this little 10 minutes talk. You will want to know how many people die for nothing just because of worry. Where will my school fees come from? Where will my house rent come from? Where will whatever it is come from? When will I buy the car? When would this anointing thing land on my life? I've been praying. Does it take this long? Abba, this thing should have been working by now. No. You have to believe him. Hallelujah. Tonight you will be mightily blessed. Mightily blessed in the name of Jesus. I want you to... We're going to pray in tongues for two, three minutes or so. Hold on. I will direct you before we start because I want to teach you tonight on spiritual intelligence. And believe me, it will change your life. We will not finish it. We'll just continue it as a series. But I want to open your eyes to a lot of things. We have to grow and trust God for capacity. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord for the way for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord one more time for the way One of my goals by the grace of God is to help us become very spiritual. Very spiritual. Because the Bible says to be spiritual or to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The epicenter of your success and progress in life is your capacity spiritually, both in terms of who you are becoming and what you know. When you know God, you are really spiritual. When you understand his ways, you are really spiritual. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Spiritual intelligence. There are a number of things that I'm going to be talking about. Um, it's a discussion, really. We're going to just be talking about a number of things. Um, but the goal is to open our eyes and to cause us to be spiritual to discern the happenings around us and to be able to know how to respond to life accordingly spiritual growth as we have been taught again and again is measured by two parameters parameter number one is how much you are conforming experientially to the image of the Christ the Bible teaches very clearly how that conformity is an index that shows an individual or a people are growing. So if you want to measure whether or not koinonia as a ministry and individuals, if we are growing as individuals, um, first you look at our degree of conformity. That this gentleman started coming for koinonia, for instance, last week. And we are able to measure from last week to this week what has happened in his life. Has his appetite for God been heightened? You know, we had some very um, emotional times yesterday. I think with Ejimi and Mike, he was over at my place. And then um, we had some really lovely discussions. And we were just reminiscing on how we all started with God uh, as against some of the fearing of that people are having today we discussed how the ministry started 
and how God has been able to help. And um, we, we said a lot of very interesting things. Um, back then, every night was a project on someone. Praise God. Every night. You were not trusted if you were not filled with the Holy Spirit with a personality that can vouch for you. It's not that you just come from nowhere and just say, um, no, 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 no. That time, somebody had to get you born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, and there was a community of believers that guided your growth. So the possibilities of varying off was very fine. Very, the, there was an environment of people. And then I think one of the things that helped us to grow, you may want to learn this, is that we had a covenant of accountability. I think it's one of the things most people do not have. A personal covenant of accountability. What that means is that you covenant with your life that you are not going to deafen your ears. There has to be someone who is able to challenge you. You don't come back home by 11.30 with no explanation and say it doesn't matter. No, it does. It matters. Covenant of accountability. Are we together now? We look at your life one week. You have not prayed to the hearing of anybody. You can't say you are meditating for one week. Your prayer is not to the hearing of it. Somebody has to ask you, are you okay? Are you sick? Do you need help? So it was very easy. Even those who didn't want to be serious with God, the plane was moving so fast. There was no way. When people got born again within one week, just one week, their lives would change. Now, of course, we cannot be that meticulous uh, because we are so many now. But I'm saying it is, it is important for you to know how God started with us. The reason why many people don't grow spiritually is because they don't follow the formula for growth. They do it haphazardly and carelessly. Praise God. So that's the first index, your conformity. Your conformity. Conformity to Christ. Conformity. Jesus is the reference of what the believer should look like. So when you find out that your growth process is making you look like any other thing outside of Christ, you need to review what you are looking at and what you are listening to. The second parameter for growth is access to light. Light and understanding. Your comprehension, your understanding. Understanding is everything in the kingdom. Understanding is everything in the kingdom. Understanding is what defines the limits of your life and destiny. Please pay attention. Understanding is the reason why you may enjoy a quality of life that is superior or otherwise. Understanding is very, very important. When, when Satan comes into a person's life, he tries to destroy your understanding. Destroy your understanding. That's why you see that we, we emphasize understanding. Hallelujah. We live in a world where many people are largely ignorant of the systems of God. Many people are ignorant of the personalities that are on earth, both spiritual and physical. Many people are in ignorance as to the implications of living and the implications of interacting with our realm some years ago maybe four years or so five years four five years i preached a message called spiritual perception and i thought how that your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit must and should be activated and deployed to help sustain your spiritual growth you must be able to sense the impulses of the spirit to know both the speakings of god and the movement of god and so god has created provisions within us to help us tap into his speakings and tap into his responses the the summation of all those things is what the bible calls discernment the capacity to walk in the impulses of the spirit are we together now praise god 
but most people largely do not have that understanding and um, it has really destroyed our lives the first thing I want to discuss tonight is the spirituality of life the first mystery that we want to look at everybody write this down life is spiritual everybody write it down and then we say it life is spiritual say it after me life is spiritual therefore living must be spiritual see if life is spiritual then it no no no, no I'm, I'm talking now if life is spiritual then it's foolish to not factor in the realm of the spirit as you attempt to live many of us believe life is intellectual so we think that the moment you are educated as, as as far as we know education to be the enlightenment secular enlightenment we believe we are ready for living other people think life is just biological so the older you grow you think your growth is qualifying you for living are we together other people think life is sociological so the more you know people you believe you have what it takes to live but i'm telling you this life is spiritual find out how many people's destinies have gone in shambles because of their not having this spiritual intelligence that life is spiritual everything brothers and sisters about life is spiritual you go back to the book of the beginnings genesis and everything is spiritual everything spiritual in the beginning the bible says god created now that is that is i tell you we can dwell weeks just talking about genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning what beginning god created the heavens and the earth so where was he because he created the heavens he created the earth meaning he was not in any of those places where was he the bible calls him dwelling in a place of unapproachable light governs the affairs of men from that standpoint god created not invented the earth was not invented the heavens were not invented they were created created with the intelligence of a superior being so it's foolish to walk upon the earth wondering if there is a synergy to the happenings of things life is spiritual the earth upon which you walk is spiritual you as an entity is spiritual unfortunately only witches and wizards know this are we together now only the people who destroy the destinies of men in villages know this the average believer is generally aware of the spirituality of life but has not come into an understanding that one of the keys to spiritual intelligence is to come to terms with the fact that life and everything about it is spiritual life and what everything about it no matter how trivial no matter how scientific spiritual hallelujah spiritual when you understand the spirituality of life then all of a sudden you will start seeing a line connecting dots as to the happenings of people's lives listen a man does not just get up and become poor like that a family does not just get up and not make progress just like that a man does not just beat his wife just like that a wife does not just beat her husband just like that the the source of that strength requires investigation are we together now a small child does not become so audacious that he looks at his father and says i can kill you no 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 no. The, the source of that audacity has to be investigated life is spiritual a church does not just grow members don't just carry their bibles from different points and start saying let's go to the same place without knowing themselves 
there's no wire connecting them you don't just open a shop and everybody from everywhere decides that they want to come to you no sir no sir life is spiritual you see men moving all around and you do not know what moves them spirituality of life someone decides to help you but you show up and something about your life you are not aware of makes the person to drive you away someone promises to marry you even goes to see your parents and all of a sudden introduction has been done he just comes up and says i had a strange dream i can't understand that's not the first time of having a dream but because of that dream you lose out on an opportunity brothers and sisters if you understand that life is spiritual you already without even understanding the needed gritties you are already ahead of many people in life i will never treat my life from a scientific perspective no i will never treat ministry from a scientific perspective in the realm of the spirit one plus one is not two you have to define what one is you have to define what two is you have to define what other factors are in the equation we run our lives scientifically we run our lives intellectually sociologically and we become victims the book of job is full of mysteries that open up the reality of the spirituality of life when you look at the book of psalms david opened us to the spirituality of life when you read psalm 91 he starts by saying he that dwells in the secret place question where is that location today because david said a man can dwell there have you found it where is it like an address david is giving us an address where people can find safety and he never said a police station he that dwells somewhere there is a place a man can stand that you become immune he that dwells in the secret place of the most high then the second shocking thing is shall abide not under the light under the shadow what is that abide under a shadow that means your shadow has a spiritual implication this thing you look at listen 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 i'm not talking of all this moving around you and let you fall down that's i'm talking of something deeper you know physics just tells us when light is casted on an object it creates a shadow that's as far as you know but the bible says men can dwell under a man's shadow <laughs> do you love jesus we love the bible right so i mean you are not the way you are looking at me is as if i'm teaching heresy it's, it's right in the bible shall abide under he gives the shadow of god a three-dimensional explanation you can come under it then he says i will say of the lord he is this and that and that and that please give it to us psalm 91 let's look at it yes that's the song your influence is all over me verse 2 and i will say of the lord he is my what refuge and my fortress my god in him i will not trust so let's see why verse one and two is there verse three it says surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence look at all these descriptions they are description of strange things you don't see them with your optical eyes but their effects are as physical as anything verse four he shall cover thee with what stop hold on describe a man for me with a three-dimensional shadow and has feathers somewhere in his body which part of him has feathers because he was not just speaking a parable he says he shall cover thee with his feathers <laughs> then and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield that means in the realm of the spirit truth is not an information truth is a physical reality it's a shield you can hold it like i'm holding a tie truth is is, is an object relatable are you getting something now you will be so blessed if you pay attention to what i'm telling you five 
this is not even this i just want us to look at it just play around it it says because of all these provisions this is the only condition where thou shall not be afraid because there is something called terror by night everybody say terror by night no matter how peaceful an environment is the bible says once it is night there is a mystery of darkness and terror listen the bible says we wrestle not against against flesh and blood but against principalities powers listen then it says rulers of darkness they don't they cannot rule in light the moment he's not talking of spiritual darkness the moment there is physical darkness it's a sign they are authorized to come out like animals that can only come out in the night so the bible calls it terror by night yet it's night time people like that's why people die in the night they that drink drink in the night when you see a man drinking by seven in the morning he's, he's a stupid man already something is wrong with his life but that's a, an acute complication no many things happen to people in the night the destinies of men are exchanged by night there are men that sit down and discuss they play the destinies of men like a chess terror by night not just um, terrorism as we know are you aware that there is such provision spiritual intelligence number one life spiritual mm. thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day have you ever seen them have you ever seen an arrow living somewhere but he said there are arrows that fly by day only god knows how many people it hits today because it flies every day you get up and leave your house and something happens please pay attention to what i'm telling you life is spiritual job chapter one a meeting was being held in the heavenlies satan now comes and a conversation is engaged have you considered my servant job while they are discussing that job is on earth minding his business and all of a sudden things begin to nose dive in job's life it's amazing how many people try to ignore the spirituality of life and expect to rise in life it's impossible it's impossible and more so this is africa you know we just pretend as i'm not talking of witchcraft the portals of africa are open to spirituality it doesn't matter through which force i'm just saying the portals of africa as a continent is richly open have you not heard of men walking back home and a hand slapped them have, have you heard of those kind of things a real three-dimensional hand but they didn't see it you don't have to see it to feel it are we together and the person goes back and all of a sudden one of us showed me a picture of his dad yesterday half of the leg had been eaten you can literally see the bones like that half of it do you know what happened he was sleeping a mystery happened he woke up and all of a sudden that leg physically there are many things you call sicknesses you don't even know where it came from I'm sick you go to the hospital they tell you there is nothing wrong with you they check everything you know the doctor even says stop coming here you are you are wasting our time but you know you are not feeling fine are we together mysteries that cannot be explained life is spiritual I learned this very early in life the spirituality of life the spirituality of ministry the spirituality of living when you know this your pursuit for God does not become you know every time you see somebody unusually zealous they just say Kai this guy I'm sure you are going to be a pastor or this lady I'm sure God is already grooming you he has isolated you and is grooming you to be a pastor's wife no the key to survival is to become spiritually minded please hear what i'm saying some of our parents right now 
ignore this and they are paying for it dearly there are mysteries in people's families they do not ex they do not understand life is everything spiritual when jesus came his birth was spiritual everything about it now look at this for god's sake a woman is minding her business probably imagining what dress will i wear for my wedding all of a sudden a stranger just appears hail mary he didn't even say what is your name ma hail mary in other words we have been watching you your name is mary we know you don't have to tell anyone your name in the realm of the spirit no sir no sir if god ever asks you what is your name is for a reason i mean it doesn't make sense for him to ask you what is your name he wants to change it then that's when he will ask it. yeah in scripture saul paul and all of that but that they are asking you because they want you to supply an information no 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 are we together do you know let me teach you something you can never see a spirit being and be the same whether a demon whether an angel you may never know what happens to you brothers and sisters listen if this is a shrine and you just run by mistake and say oh the wrong place as you never will live the same no it's impossible 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 you thought you ran too fast to be seen the realm of the spirit is not like that please understand what i'm saying if you know this that you are coming for koinonia you may be sitting outside you will never feel bad again because you realize that wow this thing is that it's just because we are because of the physical comfort of maybe being inside and all of that but it makes no difference that's why you can be saying god is touching somebody and someone in the second overflow is flying there you that you are close you are now looking at ah, god you mean you jumped me listen the holy spirit does not move with time and distance mm -mm. these two factors don't exist no 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 like you say i have to touch you before touching you that's physics in the realm of the spirit you don't do that are we together are you understanding this so you can never see a spirit being anybody that tells you he has been having encounters with spirits i think you should respect that person whether in a negative way or positive way that i've had some appreciable and except if, if the person is lying if the person is telling the truth no you are meeting a dangerous person for good or for bad most of the world leaders interact with spirits please look at me let me preach to you forget the fact that you see everybody wearing suit and going for forums they are being advised counseled rebuked directed by strange spirits there are documentaries upon documentaries on my system that proves to you that no man let me teach you something brothers and sisters you want to be famous a day will come a spirit must show up in your life to say all right now that you have gotten to this level we have to negotiate for it to go further i give you a guarantee 100 percent if jesus does not appear to you an angel sent from god does not appear to you a demon who are somebody is same it's like a realm you keep rising nobody disturbs you but you get to a point they say okay everybody that rises from here right now the realm of the spirit cannot be strange to such a person that's why you enter a business meeting somebody looks at you you look at him two of you know yourselves everybody knows what he has touched or otherwise there is a level you cannot be neutral believe what i'm telling you when you see people doing some things they are doing they have seen something when a woman looks at you and says i will kill you mark my words you better take it seriously either pray or stand on the confidence of what you now know but to say ah, this is what you just you would really die because you see let me tell you there are too many laws that can remove your spirit from your body many many laws many laws N not just death there are many spiritual laws that can separate a man's body from his spirit any of them can be manipulated to kill you You see that sickness and accident are physical expressions of the commonest laws that are used to separate people's bodies from their spirits like you skin a cow have you gone to the abattoir you see them they have a skill 
they skin a cow there is a mystery that can remove your spirit from your body and many people move carelessly and then it happens it may happen through a car it may happen through different things but it is still a manifestation of this you cannot sit on certain positions being neutral it's impossible I remember one of our friends years ago he got a job and I remember him saying they were paying them them that were struggling they were paying them 50,000 and they were paying the prophets 1.2 now if they don't call it salary they call it honorarium but it's still a release of something from the giver to the person who needs it they pay you fifty thousand for laborious study of five six years under the most stringent conditions possible and somebody just throws and comes in and they give the person 1.2 you know why because that person has an advantage he can do something hi life is spiritual life is spiritual life is spiritual i don't have to see you to talk to you life is spiritual life is spiritual people's lives are being manipulated without their will life is spiritual many of us were born in pure christian families we never had any touch with idolatry so you don't understand the spirituality of life but for a few people who veered off here and there did one or two things life is spiritual grandparents just come out and sit on the ground and after a few minutes they stand up they say it's all right it will be well with you go and you are saying what did they see life is spiritual in the bible before they fought wars they will go and ask the kings and prophets please will we win and then they will say there's trouble and then they will say how can we change it now this is the part of spirituality that shocks me the ability to change things change things by the spirit like a cleaner i look and i find out that this is supposed to happen then you clean it as if there's nothing there Haba. oh you were supposed to die tomorrow then somebody just cleans it what advantage do you have do you understand that your life is spiritual when you sit down in that class do you know that it's not just one person sitting down life is spiritual now the, it's not to just make us irresponsible and just see demons in everything when i talk of the spirituality of life i'm not just talking about demons i'm talking about the presence of spirits to guarantee anything happening you the concept of being an atheist is another class of deception life is very spiritual you see a lot of people come to dig a well after they dig a well the water comes out they'll tell you go and look for chicken has that happened to you go and look for chicken they slaughter the chicken and make incantations in the well and the water will never stop coming think about that do you know the water on earth is older than everybody on earth now i hope you know that the water on earth is older than everybody on earth you are not drinking a person you are not drinking a substance you are drinking history this was only bottled only god knows who laid hands on this water could it be part of noah's flood could it be you just know you are just swallowing it and then your body just reacts you take something and all of a sudden your body reacts i'm comfortable Koinonia, listen, listen, listen. Let me teach you these things. If you do not understand it, don't be great. Just get a one-room apartment, get married, have two or three children, be a kingdom financier, and wait for the day you'll be with the Lord. But that you want to rise in this world we live in. No. We're traveling to Benin Republic. I think I told, when we got somewhere, a man, one Lenge guy, very lengthy guy just looking like all these smokers he looked at me and he called my name joshua you've seen them now you see them in markets they look at you and in five minutes they start giving word of knowledge you've not seen those kind of people they look at you and say madam uh -uh, why is uh, why is, is is joshua stubborn like this now he said don't disturb me but because they mentioned joshua i say who say again 
Life is spiritual. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. It is written. I just appeared, but something has been written. A script. A script about your life. Written. When you understand the spirituality of life, then you also know that you have an advantage by the spirit to manipulate things to be consistent with the word of God in your life. This is, the this is where I'm taking you to. When I understand that life is spiritual, I don't mourn at physical results because I know that there is a loop through the spirit where things can be corrected. Are you seeing that now? At that point, I stop worrying. Because I know there is an advantage. The advantage is my access my access to spirituality i can be assisted by a spirit being in this case the holy spirit listen one of my best scriptures in the bible is then the secret was revealed unto daniel a beast of a man just came and said if you don't tell me my dream and the solution i will kill you and he said king don't be hasty don't worry let's just go and sleep while other people were sleeping he knew that something happens to men at night the night is also a time for revelation listen you try praying in the night and try praying in the day if you pray seriously come and tell me the difference come and tell me the difference this is this this one I, this one is like my office i can tell you everything you want to know about it the night time i have sought out the mysteries of the night in a very strange way The Magi came out and they saw a star and they started smiling. They said a king is born. Not a child. A king is born. And they started going. When they met Herod, they said, um, we came from the east. Based on our study, we have books here prophesying and a physical star. Because in Genesis chapter 1, he said he made the stars to signify times and seasons times seasons hallelujah so they looked at it and then it led them to the place and when they got there they saw a baby but because they knew that it was not a baby they started worshiping him if i if you are worshiping a jimmy's child won't somebody know that they say they want to kill your child a jimmy but now two three or well the bible doesn't say three men but we know magi came from the east and they are worshiping someone because they are seeing more than that and all of a sudden an angel appears and says run away with this child they want to kill him run quickly do you know why because jesus could die hmm. did you hear what i said the angel will not waste his time and say run away with that child if he could not die he could die if, he, if they disobeyed that angel, they would have killed him. The only thing is the body would not decay. But he would die. Yeah, he would die. Are we together? When Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights, Satan was waiting. Very strange. Immediately he finished, he just showed up. Now watch this. If the devil is near you, won't you drive him? But hear him, he's walking with Jesus. Satan, walking with Jesus. Please, come. You are not the devil in Jesus' name. Say amen. But watch this. I'm minding my business. And somebody appears and I look and say, Satan, you again. Think about that. This is what happened in your Bible. And he said, ah, Jesus, you are hungry. Turn this stone into bread. And then he said, it is written. And he didn't disappear. He didn't go. He continued with another temptation. He said, Jesus, follow me. Let me show you something. And Jesus followed him. Your Bible. They went up the mountain. He said, look at all the glories of the earth. Hold on. Where is that mountain where a man can stand and see the glories of the world at once? Is it Mount Everest? It's a mystery. These guys just came out of the physical realm into the realm of the spirit and said, stand. I show you all the kings I have empowered. This is it like a window like you just step out into a door 
and showed Jesus all the glories. He said, if you bow to me, I will give you. If you bow to me, that is the mystery of the wealth of sinners. If you bow to me, I will give you. Satan does not need money. He needs your bowing. If you bow to me, I will give you. So when you say you want to be blessed and not bow, uh -uh, he says, no, you can't eat your cake and have it. Your allegiance, and then I give you every other thing. And you say, no, I will have it. Are you seeing? So you just get up and say, why are Christians not getting jobs? Now you understand. He took him and showed him the system. Bow to me. So you want a job, but you don't want to bow to him. You must find out what provision has been made. Because Jesus conquered him. Then he now took him up a cliff. And he said, jump down. He said, he shall put his angels charge over you. Look at Satan quoting scriptures. The guy you call Satan. By the way, let's not, it's not that we're talking about Satan. But do you really know who he is? Look up, please. Are you getting blessed? Am I boring you tonight? Who exactly is Satan? A guy with a horn? As Nigerian film has depicted? No. That's just to help you understand. Who exactly is Satan? Because according to scripture, we see that Satan is a person. He can be at a... Satan is not omniscient. Not all-knowing. The ignorance of Satan is clear from Genesis to Revelation. There are many things he did not know. Are we together? Number two, Satan is not omnipresent. Many times he's at a spot. He can't be everywhere. He's focusing on the issues that are most important. Question three, is Satan down, up, or where? Where does he live now, today? Because when we say down, down Satan, up, up Jesus, none of them is living up or down. That's not the address of any of them. It's not the address of any of them. You go up, I guarantee you, you are not going to see anything there. You see that? Because I hope you know that this, our realm, is suspended in space. Space that even scientists don't know. There is no reference to measure where we are at now. And it was concealed by the wisdom of God. You can't, you can't tell whether we're in the middle. What, where exactly are we? You call this solid. You are standing here now, but you are floating and moving around. Think about it. Yet the Bible says it has foundations. The earth, your earth. Jesus himself, or well, God speaking now, told Job that the earth has foundations. Who is Satan? Why does he make you afraid? Please look at me. Let, let somebody be delivered now. Who is that guy that threatens the whole world? Where is he now? If you call him, will he come? Are we together now? Do you know there was a time in the civilization of God's kingdom where Satan was not there? He was not even created. I hope you know. Satan has a creation date. He was not born, so he was created. Are we together now? Let me shock you. Number two, I hope you know Satan is not the most dangerous of spirits. Evil spirits now. No. Of course. The Bible never teaches that. That Satan is the most dangerous of the spirits? No. There are spirits currently now that were bound in everlasting chains. Now, as I speak, they could not be released because even the elect, if they are released, they may not stand them. Now, as I speak, there are spirits bound. But Satan is going to and fro. He's not part of them. I want you to understand this. You see, you disarm darkness when you have light. You disarm darkness when you have light. All through scripture, we see that demons can be told what to do and they can be told where to go. And under certain conditions, they must obey. 
Are we together now? So how does Satan carry out the advancement of all of these things? How does he do that? You see somebody who minds his business and you begin to pray for him. He's manifesting the power of God is upon him and he's vomiting something physical. Vomiting razor, vomiting this and that. Now that's an ugly scene, frankly speaking, but I mean, it's a shock. I've counseled so many people. I remember one gentleman who said they, their father took all of them for protection. After making incisions on them, God is my witness. They gave all of them two, two razor blade, physical sharp razor blade. The man said, just close your eyes and eat it. The guy said, are you joking? This is razor. And they said they threw it in their mouth and they were shocked. They didn't wound them. They didn't do anything. It disappeared. Nobody swallowed their own. Now, when a razor disappears in your mouth, you have to find out where it went to. <laughs> Say after me, life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. There are people who end their salaries. Their physical money disappears. I'm not saying sickness took it. You kept 20 naira, you come and find 15 naira. Yet you are alone in the room. There are individuals that have strange visitations by men, women. Strange beings in the night. A spirit comes and then comes to sleep with you. Or do certain things and you get up with all kinds of things you have a dream that there was an incision you wake up physically with a mark with blood was that was that just a was that a story a spirit having an affair with you in a dream because spirits are neither male nor female you understand so there is no reason why you should be having that. Let me explain to you the mysteries behind people's lives that they don't know. Pay attention to what I'm saying. We live in a world that you must have spiritual intelligence. There are four things I'm talking about. Maybe I'll just take this one today. Because I can dwell here and explain to you the mystery behind the happenings of people. Just like that. Life is spiritual. All of a sudden, in three weeks, promise, men start coming to your life to favor you. Where were they? What happened before that they didn't come? Somebody spoke to you. He didn't give you money. He just spoke to you. You didn't see anything leaving him. It's not even that his saliva touched you. He just said something to you and you left. Believing you carried something. And you come out and people start treating you in a certain way. Say after me, life is spiritual. You had the testimony of that dear lady about the favor. How many of you have been crying and your helpers are next door, but they cannot speak to you. But all of a sudden, something happens and you begin to see people arise for you. Life is spiritual. Every one of you seated here, as many as you are, look at people standing outside. And I say this with all humility. Human beings are not idiots. Nobody comes to stand outside in the cold and just watch him because he's trying to. What is so special about the man of God? Everyone say life is spiritual. It's not just poster, it's not just balloons. There are mysteries. Do you know sometimes I watch people when I come for corner and I see people sit down? I know that the spirit realm brought them, even them, they are surprised. What am I doing here? Yet you are still coming. Spiritual. Are we together when a lady gets married and all of a sudden her womb closes watch this what is satan looking for why is her womb closing she goes to the hospital the doctor say you are fine we've checked you you are okay or god we checked you you are okay but then the child does not come at all two years three years five years the child does not come and then all of a sudden they begin to have problems husband and wife and then everything scatters are we together and then watch this that same woman will live in defiance and go and have an affair with another man and get pregnant instantly instanter that means it was never about anything wrong with her there are people who have seen people have prayed for people with hiv it's not that they lived a careless life. No, no. 
I remember a testimony. I don't know if it was shared that was shared. Someone went to bed in the night. All of a sudden, a stranger appeared, held syringe, and told the person, this thing inside it is HIV. Injected the person. He woke up physically with HIV. Is there any amount of antiretroviral drug that will heal that person? If the sickness came from the realm of the spirit, medicine can only manage it. The real cure, the real cure will come from the realm of the spirit. Are we together? Families in disarray because they do not understand that life is spiritual. There are people who will be driving driving going to their place of work at top speed the car will just lock lock in one position i've spoken with many people who had accidents you ask them what happened they tell you i tried to turn the steering i'm not a careless driver i did my best i was watching myself dying you know i've seen the spirit of death i know it it knows me i've seen the spirit of death so i know what i'm telling you it comes to hospitals in the night patients in wards and all of a sudden hovers round and all of a sudden people just leave and in the morning you come and find out so so person is dead there are times it will come over territories like a city like zaria like this it will just come it's invoked by powers they do incantations and invoke it it can loom around a territory for three weeks and there are ghastly motor accidents headache killing men a pastor just standing on stage preaching and he'll collapse and die and then after a while when the invocation has fulfilled its reason for coming it quietly leaves you see it happen break forth thou fountains of the deep and we Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Abraham, Abraham is returning from war, and all of a sudden, a strange man appears. The Bible says, No father, no mother. What kind of a man is that? Melchizedek just shows up and says, Abraham, you don't know me, but I am a king. A king of where? I've never heard about you. You are a king. Listen. Listen. The earth is not the only place that has kings. Melchizedek said, I am a king. Of where? Salem. An ancient city of peace then he looks at Abraham and said I'm on assignment Abraham gives him a tithe of all and he says Abraham I want to activate something in your life blessed be Abraham possessor you of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth listen you never see Melchizedek in the Bible again the next time Melchizedek shows up is in Jesus hold on the Bible now calls him a priest after the order of Melchizedek read your Bible and see the strangers that met with men that we never saw again never saw again never saw again there are men who started churches when the church started growing one time all of a sudden spirits just appear to them I'm the power that controls this territory we can negotiate or this Bishop Oedeko shared and said how that it, the Kaduna church was not growing. Still anointed, still with power. The Kaduna church was not growing. And all of a sudden, he said one time they were fasting and praying. Say life is spiritual. And all of a sudden, he came out and the Holy Ghost asked him to come out. He said, look. And he looked and he saw a dark veil. Dark veil covering the people. He said, this is the veil that misinterprets what I am doing. Misinterprets it. And he commanded it and it left. It, it just left like that. And all of a sudden, members started coming. What is the relationship between members 
and this have you not heard of people who want name kings and they bury their children correct they bury people alive and you just get up and come to fight them you die for nothing i was in mina last week and one of us the media person met me and then you know talking about the security situation around and he said something he said a particular village when there was war about to happen in a particular village that the people there said no problem that the people just carried their charms and came and lined it in front of the village mysterious substances started killing the armies one of them something ate his hand you don't know what it is those people they have it when the going gets tough they bring it out are you aware that life is spiritual are you aware that your life is spiritual when you know this it should not make you afraid it should give you the key to changing anything when you know that life is spiritual you will value prayer because you will know that when you pray among many other things you are changing things you are shifting things in the realm of the spirit my life today is a product of this singular revelation life is spiritual you never see me sit down and i'm just discussing physical things with people i may keep quiet and nod but i am reading between the lines and when i get it i say oh that's it we know what the problem is listen koinonia let me tell you the relevance of this understanding you never will try to fight physical people again if your roommate is fighting you all the time know that life is spiritual fighting your roommate is when you finish praying you find out that they are behaving haywire don't you know that there is a spirit that was watching while you are praying and now you are coming all of a sudden they will pour water on your bed because anger is a gateway in the realm of the spirit so the devil will try to rob you from joy joy with joy shall you draw that's why you finish praying and your father insults you that's why as you are living from koinonia you receive hostilities from people when you know that life is spiritual you will stop being angry and you will stop wasting your time let me tell you how many of us have aborted prophecy you don't know that life is spiritual the moment a miracle is about to come that's when you hear stories that five people said about you satan is moving through men moving through men the moment there is a breakthrough did you hear this about pastor jakes and then you are bitter and then you are angry and the demon say praise god this is exactly what we are looking for and all of a sudden the prophecy is aborted like a woman pregnant but there are those who understand this and the moment they are looking at you you say no no i know it's not you you are just a victim of the realm of the spirit so i ignore them and i keep dancing my way to joy listen when jesus was going to enter a city do you know how he said we should enter he sat down on a horse and said people praise and sing if jesus entered that city silently something dangerous would have happened he listened Do you know joy and laughter are weapons in the spirit? Look at me. Look at me. Let me share something with you. Sam, if you are talking to all of us now and we start laughing and scorning you, what happens to you? Talk to me. Do you know if I am angry at promise, my joy is to see him angry. When he's angry, then what I have done to make him angry is working. But when you see somebody that you are praying that something bad happens to him, always happy and joyful, it will disarm you. The Bible says, why do the hidden rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. Listen, the kings of the earth, they set themselves, right, against God as his anointed. Then it says, he that sits on the throne, hold on. It didn't say he will fight first. The first thing that happens. Laughter is an expression of joy. Hold on, hold on. That's why when people are under the anointing sometimes you see them laughing hysterically now you are not spiritual so you just think which kind of men of god are this that's serious breakthrough happening to them in the realm of the spirit there are people under the anointing you see them start dancing i'm not talking of they can't even control themselves dancing and you may not understand when they were going to take the ark back there was a formula it was always with singing and dancing 
I was I was sharing with you, Jimmy. I will just share it to help you. I, I think it was um, um, yesterday we were talking. I got up in the morning about to pray, and the Lord said, "No, you are not going to pray. You are going to dance before me, two hours stretch nonstop." That's all I did. All I did. I was so tired. I, I said, wait, wait, which, which style now am I going to? I mean, what is all this? But I knew I'm smart enough to know life is spiritual. Listen, listen. That two hours may be equivalent to 15 years breakthrough. Two hours. You reign, you ancient Zion king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your Life is spiritual. Joshua chapter 1, 2, 3. They survey Jericho and all of a sudden he says, Walk around. Don't talk. Just walk around. What is the stupidity of walking around? Life is spiritual. You call it madness. A man is walking around once and then it says on the seventh day hold on listen the bible says the fence of jericho five chariots could stand on it so even if you turn it it will still become another fence are we together there are people who are too big for breakthrough they are too they are they are they are, they are too carnal and scientific for the stupidity that spirituality requires Life is spiritual. They moved around the seventh time. The moment they got there, he said, Now, Tehila, don't fight. Shout. Shout. And the Bible says, When they shouted, listen, listen, hold on. Hold on, hear me. Sometimes, sometimes you hear people say, Give God a shout. Or sometimes you see about to minister, and I tell you, you are going to shout the name Jesus. You may think they are just formulas stupidly you see this is they once your mind if you allow people who are depraved and don't know god they will rubbish your breakthrough they will say what are you doing what what are you saying same thing with praying in tongues you are praying in tongues and someone sees you and say you too you are in this thing you are doing this thing too ah. you too you are you are joining them at your age you went to school listen listen i tell you i have mastered how to destroy jericho in my life i know the principles life is spiritual when i found this key i stopped wasting my time brothers and sisters let me tell you how to come out of any trouble in your life should i tell you listen after you finish praying listen i want you to laugh and dance dance is a strange mystery of deliverance strange mystery believe what i'm telling you dance is a strange mystery of deliverance dr kenneth copeland asked bishop oyedeko and said you claim we taught you faith but how comes you are able to pack over fifty thousand people for services and oyedeko said i dance every one of those people to church see listen there is a time to pray but there is a time to engage other things are you getting what i'm saying the bible calls it the sacrifice of praise it didn't say the music of praise it's a sacrifice it will cost you but it will tear your heavens open listen you have not seen breakthrough till you know how to rejoice before god there's nothing i know that paralyzes satan like an expression of praise and joy is one of the seven mysteries god revealed to me seven mysteries are you hearing what i'm saying let me show you how men have commanded victory in their lives when you don't know the key and you don't know that life is spiritual you will waste your time cheap victories you will never get it i remember a woman who shared a testimony um she was barren and then she started bleeding 
she, she, she took him and then she started bleeding and she went to a man of god who happened to be a doctor true story and the man said ah madam Thor, right now honestly this this thing of course you know what that means it's it's over just trust god for grace and the woman said no i know what my bible says the man said well you know i'm a pastor but i'm also a medical practitioner when he finished everything the woman said she did do you know what they said dancing vigil not not you put vigil and put songs and you are, she said she danced her way and that child returned from wherever he was listen if you don't believe what i'm telling you honestly you can go home cornonia has finished for you this night so that you don't waste your time you are too big to engage these mysteries some things will never happen in your life never happen hallelujah there are mysteries when the devil wants to get your life he will use men listen every time you start seeing strange attacks it's a sign that something is about to drop be careful be sensitive bitterness will start coming are we together now betrayal will come all kinds of things they are demon spirits desperate trying to use men to look for access to sabotage and that's why you joy 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 rejoicing dancing all these things distract you till the miracle comes find a man who has refused to get angry i'll show you a winner i show you a winner a winner some of you all these i'm like that you will never rise beyond certain levels in our family we are like that if i'm angry should i not say it apostle i'm a human being you will sit there as a human being and die like men mysteries this life is spiritual you are looking for rent and the rent has refused to come do you know there are times in your life there is nothing about you that can bring that miracle you are not expecting money from anybody there is no hope of anything coming those are the times you engage this you don't go around just saying sir the other day i spoke to you i'm still here or is it that you are not seeing me no let god talk to them you talk to god you engage the mysteries and while you are dancing like a mad person do you know there are people between now and friday you will see the strange testimonies that will come in your life if you understand that life is spiritual this is the foolishness some of us have adopted oh we have been stupid enough to do it and god has proven himself in a very dangerous way when we were going for crusade remember when our car stopped let me give you a real testimony the car refused to move they kicked it it did not move remember we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed they kicked it all of a sudden we were tired everybody was discouraged steve strings just took the guitar and started playing that was how we started singing there are witnesses we kicked that car it started till we got to the crusade ground When you understand that life is spiritual you will know that it's not about your roommate this this is the only way to love people so there's somebody now that you are bitter against but you are turning your attention to the wrong person and you are giving access to spirits the devil expects you to see promise promise come pass this way and you just pass like that pulling your mouth and the devil says this is exactly what I, I mean i like this kind of people they are like robots anything we want they do but the moment you are passing and he's pulling his face and how are you ah that's it you disarm it's a little act but you disarm principalities and powers because life is spiritual life is spiritual your breakthrough is spiritual your husband is spiritual your wife spiritual your baby everything your exams spiritual listen 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 i'm not saying you should not read listen but i'm um, listen let me tell you the truth hear me hear me listen 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 let me tell you something no matter who you are a day will come you will sit down and look at that paper and you will know only god can help me there is a key let me tell you what students do after exams and let, that's why many people fail they come out and then they go to somebody there's usually somebody saying what did you write here don't don't do that thing when you come out walk away don't 
I put five. You say you put 11. They say, how did it become 11? You didn't even put six. You have failed. The answer is five. Now, let me tell you what that, I'm not saying you should criticize people. Are you getting my point? When that happens to your spirit, all of a sudden you go back and say, my God, this is it. It's over for me. My whole life has finished. You are helping the demons prophesy to yourself. You are helping to speak. Whereas somebody else will know that honestly, it's not that I'm saying you should be lazy. But brothers and sisters, of what use is the spirit if there's no advantage? In the spirit world. There is an advantage. We are not idiots. Believe me. You dance an angel to your faculty. You dance an angel to your department. You dance an angel to open your file. Dance your way to the admission list. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please believe what I'm saying. This is only one over four. I came tonight to open your eyes. Stop interpreting the happenings in your life. They, they threw you out of the job. Don't sit there and say, Kai, but these people, even my uncle, my uncle, you, you saw me. It's not about your uncle. There's something you can do about it. Stop calling home to listen to bad news. After you listen, close it and say, Lord, I still see what you are doing. I still see what you are doing. Are we together? You hear a word and they say, by the grace of God, your husband is coming. All of a sudden, things begin to happen around you. Somebody just comes and says, you say, why are you putting this marriage sin on your head? And all of a sudden, you feel ashamed, you feel embarrassed. When a prophecy is coming, you can't even lift your hands to receive it because you are saying they are seeing me. They think I'm desperate for marriage. They rob you of your joy. They rob you of your peace. You never get your miracle. Once you sit down, then the devil uses anger. You now sit down, you are talking about other people's relationship and marriage. Tearing people down and sowing a seed that will have a boomerang effect on you. Because life is spiritual. Hear what Proverbs says. It says, be careful as you speak for the birds will carry your words. Have you seen those birds before? The birds will carry your words. My life is spiritual. My life is spiritual. I cannot stop anybody from carrying charm. But I can stop it from touching me. I know what to do. I know what to do. I can't stop the spirit of death from standing on the road, oh Kai. But there is something, there is something that even if it's the devil that drives, he will drive me safely. These are not, these are not empty talks. This is what dominion is all about. I'm training you. I'm giving you spiritual intelligence. From now, when you walk out of this place, for some of you right now, there is a text message, a heavy insult waiting for you to read. Now, hold on. You now know that you don't just turn and call people devils, but you just enter and your roommate, who right now as you are here, they are talking about you, and the Lord tells you, should I tell you how to win? Buy five for life. Go and drop it and say, people, this is for you. And you are saying, ah, uh ah, -uh, God, to be that much of an idiot? No, somebody that did this, is this lady that stopped me from marrying? She said something bad to one good military man who would have married me, and God says, buy malt a carton of malt and go and greet her or god will say wash their plates i know they dirtied your bed she just change it sing praises and wash your plates listen when you disarm powers you will see god rise in a fearful way are we together bitterness anger envy are more wicked than than anything you can think about they destroy you they are like a cancer that sabotages you many of our parents you know why they may never prosper they are angry at everybody there are people now if they see me coming i see people frown all oh, is he the guy that's him how are they getting money look at this 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 young boys and so the angel the grace for the blessing is authorized to live your life because anything you don't honor cannot be your inheritance are we together now what are they be careful oh all these young guys standing how can people be standing outside are you worshiping a man are you foolish 
don't castigate anybody but just know that those are joy robbers the moment they start speaking know that your blessing has left heaven and it's about to come and land in your life are we together life is spiritual let me just narrow it down so that we can pray the mystery of praise in a dance in a dance you hear me talking about this dancing thing i'm not a dancer you don't have to be a dancer but if you want to move forward you dance anyhow to your breakthrough anyhow you are too big to dance your way to breakthrough i tell you you are too big to have an open heavens it will never never open ask david david the king the custodian of mysteries when he was dancing and rejoicing his arrogant wife came and said what is this i'm not saying you should dance in a nude and an ungodly way i don't know david's dance but i know the dance that is not david's dance let me balance it quickly i i was not there with david but i know the dance that is not david's dance there are many dance around that is not david's dance are we together david's dance comes from a genuine heart not a heart of seduction and stupidity david's dance is a genuine heart that is focused on god directed to him so let's we're talking about david's dance here david was dancing and the wife who was too big now came and said what is this thing you are doing you are a king and david said yeah 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 you don't know i was in the wilderness do you know what happened from there the wilderness that brought me here and i'm dancing and you don't know that i got you by dancing of course it's a mystery i've been practicing you are saul's daughter you don't even know how you just came like that you came as an inheritance the bible may not record it but i believe he finished his dance and carried his sling and went to goliath and said have you done your own dance goliath because if you have not done it you are about to go down hallelujah i believe in the mystery of praise please hear me the mystery of praise psalms 149 give it to us one of the mysteries will touch this night because this is a year of triumph and i'll be wicked if i don't share with you the secrets i operate in my own life psalms 149 please praise ye the lord sing unto the lord a new song listen and praise him in the congregation of saints verse 2 let israel rejoice in him that had made him let the children of zion be what in who they are king three let them praise his name what let them praise his name in a dance let them sing praises to him with timbrel and harp. for we are reading down for the lord taketh pleasure in his people he will do what beautify those who are humble enough he will beautify them with salvation next verse let the saints do what be joyful in glory let them sing aloud on their listen hold on just stay there let me explain this to you he says while you are lying down and all of a sudden do you know it's when people lie down that the devil brings thoughts i hope you know the pill is still there and all of a sudden oh lord you are good i know you are faithful i know you are faithful let the even on their bed verse six now here is the warfare dimension of praise he said let the high praises of god be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands next verse to execute what vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people not by chasing them that while you are praising and dancing it is vengeance you are speaking in the camp of the enemy to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron there is something called the written judgment to execute upon them what hold on how do you execute it 
your own is to mind your business knowing that life is spiritual i know they said you are not from so 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 tribe they walk together and sack you don't go telling people to hate these people go to your secret place and start praising and see what happens in that office are we together it says this honor have how many the honor ex of expressing breakthrough there are some things that god gave apostles prophets teachers but he said this one this honor of experiencing breakthrough have all the saints praise ye the lord cheap victories cheap victories by understanding life is spiritual and you carry all let me tell you another mystery carry all your challenges write it on a paper and dance before it put it on the ground and celebrate god before it like a madman don't worry just be that stupid and see what happens a child is not coming i know that me for sure i'm getting zero in this and that and begin to celebrate him celebrate him people will look at you and say what are you doing i'm praising him why what did he do no testimony you had start doing all these church things that people do like fools you're married you go and lock you and your wife and tell yourself we are dancing our next level when jesus was entering the city what did he do sat down on a donkey and had people praising and rejoicing it was that atmosphere it says psalm 100 please psalm 100 someone's life is about to change it says make a joyful noise hold on are you seeing another mystery joyful what hallelujah hallelujah listen praise the lord listen listen he didn't say make noise making noise is not good even for your health he said a joyful noise hold on do you know what a joyful noise is the revelation behind it i'm not just shouting as an idiot i'm showing you mysteries now praising a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands verse 2 serve him with gladness look at how many times god talks about this what is the protocol for accessing his presence come before his presence with not with mourning hold on oh god i thought the other time what well, don't give me any dream again if i keep seeing money in my dream and yet nobody sends me any alert are you not the god of heaven i've been serving in koinonia let me tell you what you are doing you are just moving backward believe me believe me you are moving backward because a a broken spirit dryeth the bones verse 3 know that the lord he is god it is he that made us and not we ourselves so have this revelation he said we are the sheep of his pastures he will not deny you anything there's too much gloominess and mourning that's why i i listen to the news just for the purpose of leadership but ask anybody who knows me i have no time listening to all this analysis and all this junk this and that is happening uh this and that dollar is one million to this i don't know what happened though, but all i know is that for with joy shall you draw from the wells of salvation praise the lord if god calls this year a year of triumph you must stop acting like mere men they can predict your life they know when money is missing from your life your face will show it anybody in this room that took what doesn't belong to him except i'm not a member of koinonia you think you are being spiritual but that's not how to disarm powers Shaka strange principles that will lift i'm telling you this principle of praise with a dance and a shout of praise is i permit me to use the word a wicked principle you want to see speed in your life do this and see what happens make up your mind complaining 
the bible says do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may be called blameless children of god right the world is full of angry people do you know the classic sign that someone needs deliverance is anger anger offense everything offends you right now after koinonia they say turn and hug somebody you just turn and found out that they left you alone that alone is enough to bring anger are you not my partner why are you turning to the other person you are trying to say i'm not good enough you are giving the devil hold on don't laugh you are giving the devil access i choose to be a happy person oh. you come I'm, I'm i'm a joyous 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 he said rejoice in the lord and again i say again i repeat it koinonia hear me many people will laugh at what you are doing but they will not deny the result the result will be strange i guarantee you i don't share my testimonies again so that it will not be as if i'm coming to koinonia and all i'm saying but there are things i will share with you you will not be able to sleep that were gotten on the platform of engaging these mysteries let me tell you another strange thing the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy works with three things one a joyful noise listen you can never never walk in the prophetic without joy the spirit the spirit the true spirit of prophecy works with joy when well, i see angry people who say they are prophets it's a joke the spirit of prophecy let me tell you most people who do different religions do you know how they invoke the anointing upon mediums they play instruments they do music you've seen masquerades they are moving play with fire somebody jumping on somebody and then they reach a crescendo when a spirit lands on the head of whoever is the medium and all of a sudden he starts prophesying are we together the prophet said bring me a mystery and as he began to play the mystery, it said the hand of the Lord came upon him. And then he began to prophesy. You shall not see wind. You shall not see rain. But the valley. Now that strange breakthrough. No rain. No wind. But the valley filled with water. Are we together? I'm telling you, I, have, if I believe with all my heart that I have fast tracked somebody's life now with this revelation with this revelation call your parents all this complain all this complain my daughter when will you marry now is it that there are no men in koinonia is it that you are sitting outside yeah you don't you are not serving in any department you you think i don't know what people say all around that's, that's nonsense you can be in the third overflow dancing your destiny and somebody seated here huh god will force him to go and do something outside and see his destiny there so it's not it's not about all these games that people play no the favor of god can come upon your life you step into the office your director did not intend talking to you but you say um okay she was not in that list is her name there please add it you people should come and see me see even me joshua selman there are people who have helped that i didn't i didn't plan to i just saw the joy and the ecstasy Never frown and come and see if I cause your problems. No. Come with joy. You are bubbling. I'm not saying fake it. But they are happy. The joy of the Lord is their strength. You are compelled to bless them. Watch the visitors that come to your house. Somebody just comes and knocks. Are you around? Say, please, can I get cold water before I talk to you? You are in a hurry for them to leave. Because you see, let me tell you, depression has a presence. Depression has a presence someone can step into your life kill your joy close your heavens and walk away we are going to sing before the lord for two or three minutes and command some fearful results fearful results fearful results fearful results but before we get there i want you to open your mouth and blast in tongues for the next six to seven minutes from the depth of your heart lift your voice and pray
My life is spiritual. My life is spiritual. My life is spiritual. Shabras katabas ke barato shubra na bala na bala na bala. Sheke te prakoto sodo bagana bala na bala na bala. My life is spiritual. Skata barata kas kabaria te kosodo bala na bala na bala. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. So take it, take it, take it, take it, bala na bala Pray, laka ta parato sko parata kache, leke te prete ketos. My breakthrough is spiritual. My job is spiritual. Maka prata kata parate kete. Don't stop. Don't stop. You are aligning your spirit for breakthrough. So beke te kete kete, leko to pras kata balada 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 balada. Shabratoska brata kata balaba. Shobrosko to parato seba. Shaba parata taba bakata kate. Engretosko ske parato shobrege de balaba balaba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. Listen, you are going to say, Father. Take away any carnal interpretation. I've been interpreting things wrongly. That's why the doors have closed. I thought it was my mother. I thought it was my father. I obtain mercy and forgiveness for blaming people wrongly. Lift your voice and pray. I obtain mercy for wrong interpretation. I obtain mercy. I obtain mercy. Pray. Shaka tabarato so pekete. Lekete cross kabarato so pekete. Rabato so pekete shebele kotosh. Embrata kata babarato. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray this next prayer point with all your heart. Lord, the spirit of bitterness, anger, unforgiveness that has been tying down my next level, I cause it from my life. Lift your voice and pray. I cause it from my life. I cause it from my destiny. Pray, pray. Say a year of triumph. It's a year of triumph. La pakato katas kapratas ke leba shodos. Rakete kate bala 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 bos. Shobroto soto prete paratas. Rakata pareka te kosho bala bala bala. La kreto sobre kete. E kreto soto pakata bala bala bala. Rabato sobre kete kete. Rakete sobre to shabaya bala bala bala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? Lord, I challenge the spirit of fear and worry. Listen, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. These spirits work like twins. Fear and worry. Worry about whether or not you will make it. Worry about whether or not you will get the job. Fear comes and then you start worrying. Will I ever marry? Will I ever have a child? Will I ever do well? They are dangerous spirits. Lift your voice and curse them by the God of heaven. I cause worry. I cause worry. I cause worry. Shake it, take it, I cause fear. You are of the devil. God has not given me the spirit of fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear. I reject you. I reject you. 
I reject you from my life. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, so that we can make progress. We are going to give God, listen, hold on, please. We are going to give God three. I tell you, if you know the things that are happening in the realm of the spirit, just with this little dance, you dance. Hold on, hold on. Listen, believe me when I tell you. These mysteries are fearful instruments of deliverance. We are going to give God, hold on, please. We are going to give God, listen, hold on, hold on. We are going to give God three shouts, three sets. Hold on, I will direct you. Just three shouts from your heart. I know that it may not make sense to you, but when I say shout, I want you to rejoice, and then the second. And then the third shout. You see what happened in Jericho? The walls of Jericho. You will be surprised. Come on. Hallelujah. Hold on. Koinonia, hold on. Hold on. Just praise God. Just follow my directives. Some of you will not even be able to shout the third one. Hold on. Are you ready now? Listen. Hold on. Listen. It is not an ordinary shout. There is an anointing upon it. It's a shout of warfare. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe me. Believe me, you will command a level of results that will make you afraid. You are disarming powers beyond your imagination. Are you ready now? Fathers, we obey you. I pray that you honor your name. Put your name upon this shout. Shout number one. Are you ready? Now go ahead and shout. Keep going. Let's go. 
Praise the Lord. The second shout, listen, that we're about to shout is a shout of strange open doors. Hold on. Strange. Believe what I'm telling you. The anointing of the Spirit is upon me. A shout of strange, strange open doors. Are you ready now? That every closed door must swing open. Go ahead and shout now. Shout! Shout! Every closed door! Every closed door! Every closed door! Every closed door! Open it! Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Listen. Listen. Hold on, please. Now, please, just follow me so we conserve time. This is what I want you to do. Listen, please. This is what I want you to do. After the third shout, listen to me. After the third shout, worshipers, you just begin to play. I want you to open your mouth and begin to call things. Call things. After the third shout, hold on, hold on. After the third shout, praise God. I know we're all going to be excited, but you try to stop. The moment the third shout is there, just set the atmosphere for us. I want you to begin to call things that be not call things that be not you will be surprised my brothers and my sisters are you ready now hold on father in the name of jesus you have sent me to open up the eyes of your people and lord i pray i have done as you have told me to do and i pray that you honor this third shout. The Bible says after two days he will revive us. He said but in the third day he will raise us up. Lord let this be a shout of strange triumph. Let this be a shout of strange triumph. Strange triumph. Are we together now? Please make sure after the shout. Whether you are on the, under the anointing or open your mouth and speak. Call for things. Are we together? Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Go ahead and shout. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy. 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 I call it forth. The next level of my destiny. I call it forth. The gift of man. The gift of men, strange helpers. I call you, arise for me. Strange anointings. Strange favor. Strange favor. I call you for. I call you for. I call you for. Help from Zion. I call for speed to my life, speed to my destiny, 
Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Break through to my life. Break through to my destiny. Don't be silent. Don't be silent. Speak. Speak. You are a speaking spirit. Speak. Speak. Every Jericho standing before me, you crumble. Every Jericho standing before me. Every Jericho standing before me. Every Jericho standing before me. I curse you by the God of heaven. I call for strange breakthroughs. Strange breakthroughs. Strange revelations. Strange encounters of the spirit realm. Strange encounters with the world. A new wine. New anointings. New graces. I call for new mantles. New dimensions. Heavier weights of power. Heavier weights of grace. Hallelujah. 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 Fire is burning in this place. Listen. I want us to spare two minutes and rescue our families. Let them tap into this mystery. Begin to prophesy to the gates and say, I have praised on behalf of my family. I command that devil, you must go. I wage the warfare through my praise. I wage the warfare. Mato soto pakata. soto I command it. Let my family members go. I command it. Cause delay. Cause spiritual lukewarmness. Wicked spirits. Powers. By the mystery of praise. By the mystery of praise. Hallelujah. For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you are worthy of my praise. I magnify you. For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you are worthy of my for the things, for the things you have done, and the battles you have won, only you are worthy of my praise and magnify your name. I put pressure on your helpers wherever they are. Sato sata la kosheba. Anyone who has the word of prophecy to be your helper, I put pressure on their spirits this night and I command them to show up for you. 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 Listen. Listen. I want you to understand this thing I've been teaching called the gift of men. You've heard me say this thing. Koinonia, I can kneel down and beg you. If you ignore what I'm saying, you will never rise. It's not whether you may rise or not. No helper comes by themselves. They are invoked through mysteries. No helper 
there people are too busy to come just to help you but after what you have done tonight oh no no come on listen listen let me tell you this let me tell you this listen i say it with every sense of humility over 80 percent of the people that so into this ministry i don't know them some of them are not even koinonia people i don't know where they are any part of the world are you hearing what i'm saying now you don't need to know nobody you just need to know these mysteries know them the mysteries know the people are we together now my only prayer for you this night and i'm going to keep praying it until i see that result in your life he says strangers shall come and feed your flock strangers listen hold on many of you have not entered that realm you have only entered the realm of those who know you and so for their love they help you you have not entered the realm of the ministry of strangers listen when the prophet met with listen when the prophet met with saul he said saul as you are going you will meet three men he didn't say three relatives three men they are holding bread they will salute you and they will give it to you in the name of jesus christ i'm praying men you don't know women you don't know people who don't know you from adam they will arise and favor you strangely they will arise and favor you strangely i command them to arise and favor you strangely hear me anyone here or any family that has been in the same position for a long time no ma you have prayed you have fasted nobody moves in your family it's like the devil has kept them in one place no job no joy no breakthrough in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the same way he said i said before you an open door he said no man can shut I command the door to your next level open now I command the door to your next level open now next level of ministry next level of business exploits next level of strategic relationships receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah there are people who must show up in your life what you need from them is not money you need their credibility and endorsement listen some of us our helpers want to come but our helpers are afraid of us because they have never tested whether we have integrity or not so they need somebody who has the influence and the charisma who has vetted you to comment for you joseph of Arimathea had to tell he told herod he said give jesus to me you think if the disciples went they would not lock them up i will keep drumming this it's a revelation god gave me for you you need the ministry of men all this i can do it alone you need help oh let me tell you you need help there are families you need a helper everybody that has entered your family caused trouble and destroyed you because something called them your ignorance called them darkness called them disobedience called them who told you strangers cannot enter and help families are we together now whoever needs to speak for you where your voice cannot yet go in the name of jesus this night not tomorrow this night listen i decree and declare may your discussion come to the ears of your helpers i command men to talk about you to your helpers i decree it i declare it i decree it i declare it i decree it i declare it listen hold on mordecai was not there when they were talking about him mordecai was seated somewhere are we together 
But when that anointing landed, the king could not sleep. He said, go and bring me the chronicles. Bring me the books. Read them for me. A king could not sleep. And while they were reading it, he heard that Mordecai did something. And he said, hold on. Hold on. This guy did something and nobody helped him. The voice that will command restoration for you. Hear me. The voice that must say, no, this was injustice. Let's go back and correct it. I call for that voice now. I call for that voice now. I call for that voice now. Let's trust God together. Let's trust God together. Let's trust God together and say, Lord, it can change. It can change. That genotype can change. They refuse to allow you marry because you are SS. That genotype can change. That genotype can change. You must not understand how everything can happen. The Bible says, just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child, not the way of the wind. That's how you do not know the work of God. There are certain dimensions that are inexplainable. Hallelujah. Selena is here. Where is Selena? Wave your hand. I think it was her auntie that, that one time we prayed for. She had triplets, right? Or something. The children are still alive. Triplets. One, two, three. Three children. I just felt a need to clear this air. Because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits. And you have problems that are killing you. But rather than opening your heart, you are there just wondering. Is God really the one doing this? Can somebody just fall down like that without being touched? Is it really true? Is it real? It's not your fault. It's the way some of us were raised. You don't have to be angry. Listen, listen. When you ever hear a man criticizing a man of God, don't blame the person. Never insult the person. They are only talking that while we were insulting Jesus Christ on the cross. What did he do? He said, Father, forgive them. Forgive them. Never find yourself trying to defend yourself. No, no. It's not part of your ministry. The psalmist said in Psalm 3, Thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. He says, You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. I always tell people, Gamaliel spoke beautifully. He said, If it is of God, no man can stop it. If it is not of God, it will fail. There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. I lead the earth to worship you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like I see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease I remember a particular lady I was talking to. I think she might be somewhere here. A herbalist predicted her death today. Today, this 25th. The herbalist predicted that it's today that she would die. So when I got to hear about it, I said, interesting. Come and die here. Hallelujah. Just come and die here. There is a rod of a higher priesthood. There is a rod of a higher priesthood. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking somebody tonight. 
Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I, I am, am that I am. I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of miracles. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship you Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. 
listen the Bible says listen it says with God all things are possible with God all things what is not possible with God involve God and it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we are singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah Before I minister I begin ministering Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people very mightily by the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called... Emmanuel His name is God Emmanuel Hallelujah Those of you in this row just lift your hands I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here I see the angels of the Lord moving At the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this room. Let me have the people outside. Thank you, Jesus. One, two, three. Let the power of God move right now. Right now. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel, his name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called. Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called. Your name is 
presence of God no demon no devil no altar I don't care what altar of darkness my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god take my praise Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalists. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God, inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside. And there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One two three shout jesus shake up a back approach couple secretary i cause powers every wicked power every demon every activity of darkness i cause you now 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 every act of witchcraft secretary by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you come under the judgment of God, inside and outside, right now. Let the power of God bring deliverance for upon 
Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. Those outside, just those outside, goodness. I see a number of angels. You're going to shout Jesus after the count of three. Outside means everywhere that is not in. And there will be massive deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now, those outside? I see the power of God like files of fire. One, two, at the count of three. Shout Jesus, three. We dethrone altars. We dethrone yokes of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now, out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just find it's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her, she will come. Now, quickly. I call you Lord Most High. Don't touch her, she will come by herself. Most High. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go now. Thank you, Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus' name. She's free.
in the name of Jesus, it's over. Let her go now. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. You died for her. Let her go. I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I give you all the praise. She's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the spirit. Out. Out. Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther, please let's save time. There is a lot we have to do tonight. Esther. Who is Deborah? Deborah. Deborah, you are outside. That Deborah is wearing red. You are wearing red. Red with black spots. It's a shirt, red with black spots. Deborah, come. Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look, guys, speak to them and let them. You will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time. Don't you will save yourself a lot of energy. It makes no difference who is speaking. Queen, who is queen? you are queen. I need to pray for you. You have a blood condition. Victoria, 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 Victoria. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, please just save time when I mention your case. Gabriel. Gabriel is outside. Outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are. Is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel, you are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. 
just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, Kai, come, 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 come. You must be set free now. Hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now. Out now. Blessed is he who comes. I set you free from this captivity. Be free now. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You, let me pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus um, the Lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's, there's there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus, I cause that spirit be free now. In the name of Jesus, let him go. I set you free. Be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names. Hold my hands. Look at me. Look at me. I'm seeing you tied. Not only are you. I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people 
are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of god will come upon you and you'll be free just begin to breathe in some of you will feel because the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing it you will feel something leave you just come out of you hallelujah thank you jesus christ be free now out come out of her now in the name of jesus out out of her thank you jesus christ be free right now out out please as i pray for you check yourself he's able out come out i will pray for you and i will talk to you in the name of jesus christ i set you free by the power of the holy ghost i set you free by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i set you free be free now in the name of jesus christ be free in the name of jesus christ he's able bring the lady shout in there hey, hey, hey. say he's able let her go in the name of jesus i set you free by the power of the highest say God. he's able God is command that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? 
this one is a woman who is not you but anyway what's the situation but it's a, no 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 what what just straight to the point what happened my body is very hot and um, the head is turning me like move i want to fall this is the spirit of death now you would have died before today hold my hands i want to pray with you you'll be free now thank you jesus i set you free in the name of the lord jesus christ what couldn't you do before Ogasa? what couldn't you do before what couldn't you do before what what is it that you could not do before okay come climb let's see if you feel weak again i pray for you just just walk let me see try to jump any weakness don't worry now if you want to jump you fall Shabia, i have prayed for you fall and die here jump <laughs> any weakness any weakness in your body try it again try it again. look at this is somebody that came he said he went to shika huh are you sure don't pretend though are you feeling fine you are completely fine you are here because i saw the spirit of death your own is not just sickness lord it is perfected in the name of jesus please take on your shoes hallelujah the lord is showing me somebody with a condition is this my left or right leg this is left my left leg i don't know if it's a if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there please who is that person the lord wants to heal you right now right now right now right now you're the one oh you can see it you can even see it what's the problem i actually played football you're a footballer I had a fracture for eight months now. You have a fracture now on the leg. There is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hiya. The Holy Spirit. Young Gicho wrote a book. He said, The Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Watch what happens to this guy now. My brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right what i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at. See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture. Fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for an onion. See. There's no. There's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 come. Don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the. No, no, no. You don't need to lift your. Head. Just that point. The joint there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that. You woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or should just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ no pain see that's the power of God coming upon your leg check yourself check honestly check yourself look at the power of God is moving strongly check check do you feel any pain you feel any no pain is she's even surprised no pain is give Jesus praise 
that devil has gone never to return again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah goodness the Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now someone you have a hole you used to have a hole in your teeth check it now you will not see that hole there please check it and come out this is a miracle that has just happened now please I'm going to start praying in mass for people but you will be very surprised when when that happens to you just come out quickly the Lord showed once God shows me something he has done it please check yourself check yourself we're not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of Jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Please make sure you only come out for the cases I call. Why is he out? Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who is preparing to go to India for is preparing to go to India for surgery. What of you? Yes, sir. What of you? You you have a heart problem. Since when did you know about it? February. The doctors told you. What did they say is wrong? Palpitation. Palpitation. Oh. Doctor, doctor. Where's that doctor in Oshas? You are the one self. Oh yeah, Ogasa, what does that mean? Doctor, tell us. 
Huh? You said she has palpitations. Abnormal beating of the heart. Ah, okay. It's loud and you can hear it even when she is. So it's a, you don't use stethoscope, you can hear it. So it's a serious situation. She will be healed now. You're a doctor now, wait. You'll go to hospital tomorrow, but for now. My dear, do you believe Jesus will heal you completely? Lay one hand on your chest. Lord, let her be healed right now. The power of God is flowing through you. Just breathe in and out. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. Please check yourself. Lord, have mercy on the Father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection in the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke as I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some... Okay, you're that too of stroke. Because immediately I, had, I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you. Because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Please follow me, guys. Hallelujah. Most marital delays are demonic in nature. And we're going to arrest it right now. You can stand in for yourself. You can stand in for your loved ones. Please lift your hands, everybody. You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny, goodness, I sense the power of God, in the name that is above all names, Father, I pray, that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three I cast those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Out of them now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the Lord Jesus. I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are still going to shout that name over this case. The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One, shake it Two, get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three, be released now. Be released now. Be released now. 
I command chains, chains, marital chains, be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, seek out of the book and read. It said, none of this shall fail. None shall want her mate. Ladies, wherever your husband is, in the name that is above all names, I call him into your life. I call him into your life. Listen. Not a man, your husband. Not a man, your husband. May he come into your life in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names. That sister that God has destined for you, we release her into your life now. 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 Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray for all sick people, especially those who have come from everywhere. While you come out, do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues. And then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Strange me. My Ow. God is he awesome. He can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. Awesome. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. Awesome. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Be healed, mommy. He's great, in the name of Jesus. Protector, 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 
Hallelujah. All those trusting God for a job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. In the name that is above all names. I pray. May the Lord give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray, let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals, receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray, may my God cause them to visit you in the name of jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against judah against jerusalem against israel i command right now let those doors of jobs be open supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive If you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. This request represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of god can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of god will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online 
now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah zekata baba baba kata praga de baladarash zekate prondo koso praga de baladarash sete pro shapara da baladarara zekate baladarabos everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony lord in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit change this situation change this situation in the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please everybody stand those who are visiting with us all those who are who came from outside Zaria please come out I'll minister to you now I want you to come out expecting the Lord there are so many people who have come from different places please just come out sit up I'll pray for them and I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from Kogi state eddie from joss Lunging from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. 
in the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. You're a faithful Take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. You're a Take this anointing with you. In the name of Jesus, awesome to your locality, today. do mighty things for the kingdom. Take it out. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, I want to live today. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit break through. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let the anointing come. Greater apostolic signs. Greater apostolic wonders. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing 
inside and outside take it now by the power of the holy ghost take it now take it now go and heal the sick go and heal the sick you will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed you will cast out devils receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it i pray i command the prophetic let it be activated now prophetic fountains be open now visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions sopotopate i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now I activate the full power of the spirit I activate it inside and outside take it let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hands hold your hands take it now take it now Rapate, I activate the gifts of the spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Every apostolic ministry, take the fire. Every prophetic ministry, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom Sekete, rekete, rekete, tete, makapratike, embretos kepa, 
Now I want to prophesy very quickly. Please, I want you to shout Amen. Every closed door over your life, in the name that is above all names, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every closed door, be open now. 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 I pray right now. Every opportunity you have lost, I don't care what it is. I prophesy right now. Receive restoration. Receive restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration now. Receive restoration now. Hallelujah. Every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now i prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment 
that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of Jesus I release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing I command ministry grow church grow in the name of Jesus hallelujah Lord we give you the praise I'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made Jesus Lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a Christian but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ I'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them i believe there are people god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage god bless you god bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you Jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming God bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you Jesus hallelujah I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem I want you to say after me Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood to set me free I receive that freedom tonight and I receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus from today I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and live in me I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the Lord Jesus may your Christian experience be authentic in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate Jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the Lord brought you here to bless you. Thank you so much. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Lord Jesus, we thank you for bringing these ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace you always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.